Today I'm going to show you how to change your MAC address on your PSP. Your MAC address is in System Settings and System Information which is down at the bottom. There we go, you've got your MAC address, uh, your system software and your nickname. Um, the only thing you can edit on here without Homebrew is your nickname. Today I'm going to show you how to edit your MAC address though using Homebrew. First thing you want to do is you want to download Actually, no, sorry. The first thing we're going to do is uh, go into USB connection. There we go, and it flashes up on the screen. And then what you want to do is you want to download the software, and I'll give you a link to it. It's on the description on YouTube, so it should be on the right-hand side of your PC screen while you're watching this video. There should be a link on how to download it. All right, there you go. Once it's downloaded as a RAW file, you want to extract it, and then you'll get this. In this, You'll have two, sorry, I'll just make it, two different folders. You'll have K exploit and no exploit. You want to go into K exploit. You should have two folders. You want to highlight them. Well, you can highlight them or you can copy them one by one. I'm going to copy them one by one. PS, and then you want to go into PSP. You want to go back to the your memory state, and then you want to go to PSP and then game and right click paste there we go and then you want to copy the one you want to go back and then you want to copy the one with percentage copy and you want to go back here right click paste there we go once it's pasted pasted those two sorry you closed both of those things let me go back to the PSP you want to Go back from the SB mode, exit after that, and then you want to go down to game. Then you should have this PSP MAC address changer version 2. You want to start that up. Alright, once it's started, it should give you a few options. It'll just, the stuff in the red is like danger warning you about it, and it's just saying that you'll agree to it being your own responsibility if it goes wrong or anything, which it won't, because I've done it for ages, but I can't guarantee that, obviously. Um, there's like 0.1% chance it will, but anyway. Um, you'll have three options in green here. Uh, press X to dump your um, PSP's MAC address, blah, blah, blah. Um, press 0 and L to flash your new one or press home to exit. You want to do the first one which is press X to dump. Right, there we go. And it will just come up on the screen saying dumping the MAC address and then it sh should say exiting in 5 seconds. There we go. The screen goes blank and then it will go back to your um, XMB waves. There we go. Once it's done that, you want to go down to USB connection you want to connect. It should come up on the screen. There we go. And you should have this new file called macid.bin. You want to open that and you want to use a hex editor. I'll give you a link to hex editor as well in the YouTube description, which should be on the right side of your screen as well. I'm using hex workshop and I'll give you the link to that. So you want to open it with hex workshop. Then you should have this. All of these will be not, 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 not. But the first three columns one, two, three will have a few numbers in them. This is up until where well, the numbers just turn to zero. These are your MAC address. So you can change them to anything you want for any number you want, uh, any number you want, and letters from A to um, yeah, A to F. Sorry. Okay. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to change them. I'm going to just change them to zero, 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 zero. Okay. And then you want to close this, and it'll ask you if you want to save. You want to click yes, you do want to save changes, and you don't want to make a backup. 
and then just go into it again quickly to check that it has changed it. There we go. Has because sometimes it doesn't. And then back to the PSP. Exit out of USB mode. And then go into the game. And then go into that Mac, uh, Mac address changer game as well. Again. Um, and this time, um, on this homebrew application, we want to choose the second option which is O and L to dump your new one um, and underneath all those options let's just say your current MAC address differs from the one you dumped which is good there we go just there current, just above the red writing um, if it says uh, is the same or something I think it's the same yeah uh, then something's gone wrong um, but yeah so it says it differs from the one you dumped which is good then you want to press on L uh, hold down on L and press circle. There we go, and it should say opening Mac ID bin, flashing done, exiting in five seconds. There we go, and it exits, and it'll go back to the XMB, wa XMB waves. There we go. Now you want to go into system settings, system information, and there we go, the Mac address has changed to 0 0 0 0 to do this, you'll need uh, system software on 3.30 OEA, 3.40 OEA, or 3.51 M33. And that's how to change your MAC address.